right. Allah al Rabi. So what does that mean? Allah al Rabi. Well, the first part is uh, that means Allah. What does al Rabi mean? Allahsu al Rabiyu. It's the opposite of the Kiyun or Aqilun. Al Rabi. Oh, uh, uh, somebody who's not very clever. Right, stupid. Stupid. Right? Allahsu al Rabiyu. The thief, the stupid. Right, right? that's a normal Ismun followed by. Or a, a sifatun or a natun, an adjective that describes a lassu. Right? So, the first sentence is Amila khadim fi bayt rajul ghani. Amila khadim fi bayt. Rajul Ghani Right So roughly that's without the first verb I'd say that something like he used to work in the house of a rich man Right, good Amila His job was Amila, yeah. he worked He worked Okay <sighs> Okay. Amila occurs frequently throughout Al Quran. It means to work. Right? Man Amila Salihan. Whoever works a good deed. Inna Ladina Amanu wa Amilu Salihat. Okay? Wa Amilu. So Amila is a normal fitlon khadim. So what's going to be on the meme here? One. Two, normal. It's a normal fa'ilun. Fa'ilun is always a marfu'un. Amila khadimun fi. Right, so what goes on the ta, what goes on the lam, and what goes on the ya? Fi bayti. Fi bayti, like this. Or baytin. Baytin. The baytin. What, what is on the lam here? Rajul. Rajulun. 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 And what is on the ya? Ghaniyun. Ghaniyun. So what does that mean now? He works. Yes. Dash. Servant. Khadimun is a servant. Amila worked, or he worked, fi? Uh, in the rich man house, the house of a rich man. Is that what it says? Oh, okay. The way that you vowelized it, All right. the way that you put the markings on the end, is that what it says? What, what does it literally now say? Re read it. Amila khadimun fi baytin. What does that mean, Shabazz? In a house. In the house. Or in a house. In a house. A servant worked in a house. Right? Then we have rajulun ghaniyun. What does a rajulun ghaniyun mean? Rich man. A rich man. They're not linked. Either. They're not linked. In fact, this part is. A jumlatul filiya, a, a normal sentence, a correct sentence, and rajun ghaniyun is just two words. Right. 
Yeah. I wish you to know by now that that's not the intended meaning, is it? No. So how do we change it? So there's an idafa that we need to create from Baitin and probably even you. As in Baitin is the house of the rich man. A. A rich man. Right, so what is on the top here on Bait? We know this. Um, it can't be... It can Come on Shabazz, if it's an Adafa, what's going to be on Bait and Rajul? It, can't, it can never be a Tanween, so it's got to be Baiti. Right. And then it's got to be Rajuli, Majulul. It's going to be Rajuli? Rajuli, like that? Yeah, so I've linked the house to the man. Right. There are similarities, it's his house. Fi Baiti Rajuli, and then what about Ghani? Ghaniun, what do we do with that? Um, that's also Majur Ghani. Because I want to link them two together as well. He's a rich man. Forget about Ghaniun for the moment. Yeah, right. If Ghaniyun is the Sifatun of Rajul, should they be linked? Same state, yeah. No, no yes, state, the same. Yeah. It's got to match in those four things. But should it be linked? You, the, 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 your, your obvious first mistake is what's on the lam? Animal Haq, what should be on the lam? Eh? How can it be Rajulu? The second noun and in the oh, no, What should be on the lam, Shabazz? Majurur. Yeah, Majurur with one or two dhammas, uh, kasras. Two. So why is the one? Oh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> right? It should be fi baiti rajulin. Even if we stopped at this point now. Perfectly correct sentence. What does it mean now? He worked as a servant in. Not what right, a servant in worked. Worked. Oh, sorry. In my house. In a. My house. Right. Okay. A servant worked in a man's house. Now we've got another word, ghaniyun. Now, Ghaniyun here, it's either, you're either going to link it to Rajul, you know, like in that ayah that we just discussed, or it's a, a connected to Rajul or Bait in a different way, as a Sifatun. So which one is it? Is it an Idafa or is it a Sifa? Sifa. What's the difference between For me, I need to link it to the man, because it's the man who's rich, not the house. Right. But w when you say linking, the, the problem is, is that we use that same term linking for an idafa. That's what I want here. So you want, to, you want to connect. But that's easy then, isn't it, Shabazz? If you want to make an idafa between Rajulin and Ghani, what do you place on the, the yard? That's easy. Rajul, yeah. yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be Ghaniyin. Yeah, but that's why I put um, one kasra on Rajuli. Right. That was the man. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So let's go back to that. Fi Baiti Rajuli Ghaniyin. Do you think that's correct now? So what does it mean? What does it now mean? Fi Baiti Rajuli Ghaniyin. In a rich man's house. No. No. Oh. It doesn't mean that now. It means now in a house of a man of a rich. You're treating an adjective, if we're going to use English grammar, you're treating as an, an adjective as a noun. Do you, can you see? That's not, what, uh, that's not what you intend it to mean, is it? No. So, how do we change it? In the Sifa. Same state with Rajul. Right, so, Shabazz, what should be on the lam? Rajulin. Right. So, that's correct at that point. No. So, what should be on Ghani? On the Ya? 
uh, I can't remember this if I wrong. It has to match in four matters. In gender, number, state, and definiteness and indefiniteness. Does it match in gender? What does Ghaniyun mean? Rich. Rich. Is it ghani, is Ghaniyun male or female? Male. Male. Right. So does it match in gender? It yes. Does it match in number? Rajul is singular. Ghaniyun is singular. So it does. Does it match in definiteness or indefiniteness? Yes, it is. yes, both of them are indefinite. So the last one that remains is state. Does it match in state? Yeah. Yes. So Rajul in Ghaniyan. We had to do that slowly because you need to understand this. Very important, right? It now matches Rajulin. Therefore, it's a sifatun of rajulin, a rich man. Right? Amila khadimun fi bayti rajulin ghaniyin. Right? What tafaka ma ahad as diqa'i hiya la surqati ashia. Right? What tafaka? Tafa wa tafaqa ma'a ahad as diqa ihi ala Right, wa tafaqa We've done wa tafaqa before, right? What does wa tafaqa mean? Ittafaqa. It's you know when you read a hadith and it states at the end Muttafiqun alayhi. So what does Ittafaqa mean? Ittafaqa. He agreed. Right? He agreed. Ma'a. Ma'a. Doesn't mean that. Ma'a means? With. With. Ittafaqa ma'a with Ahad Right Ahad as diqa e. Right, what goes on the dal here? Ahad Think about what it means Ahad as diqa What does as diqa mean? As diqa'un As diqa'u means uh, fr friends. friends. It's the plural of Sadiqun. Sadiqun, a friend is singular. Asdiqa'u is a plural. So, what's it going to be? One of the friends. One of the friends. Yeah. So, one of the friends is? What type of construct? Idafa. So, what's going to be on the down? Ma'a Ma'a with Ma'a Ahadi Ahadi yeah. Remember Ma'a is not a harfu jarr It's not a harfu jarr It's a similar effect Actually it's an idafa it, that, That's the first noun in an idafa So it's the same effect Ma'a Ahadi Asdiqa Asdiqa he his friends his friends so that the asdiqa'u is now the second noun in the nadafa and therefore it is always majrurun which it is now right ahadi asdiqa'ihi ala okay what so what does it mean now uh, shabaz read it from amila amila <coughs> He served um, uh, He worked as a servant in the house. A, a servant. a servant. He worked as a servant. No, no, a servant, a servant worked. worked. <laughs> a servant worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Khadim, stop with that. A servant worked in the house of a rich man. Right. And 
and he <coughs> agreed with one of his friends. Right. Allah. On. On something. Remember, Allah goes with ittafaqa. Yeah, meaning he agreed to you know, do something, right? وَاتَّفَقَ مَا أَحَدْ أَصْدِقَائِهِ عَلَىٰ Then we have Surqa Surqa Ashya Min Thalika Bait. Right. What Tafaka Ma'a? Ahadi asdiqaihi ala. Right. What does surqatun mean? We've done this before. Surqatun. Stealing. Stealing. We've done that, right? What does ashya'u mean? Ashya'u. It's the plural of shay'un. What does shay'un mean? Water. No, 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 shay'un. Shay'un. Not, not that shy. That shay'un. This is shay'un. Well, you know, when we read the ayah, Inna Allah ala kulli shay'in qadirun. So what does shay? We use it all the time. Even in English, it's English. It. What, what, what do you refer to some object when you don't know what it's called? Thing, that's thing, thing. So, ashya'u is a plural of shay'un, which means a thing, right? It was plural. It was things, right? Things. Surqa ashya. So, what does it mean, Shaba? Surqa ashya. To steal things. Stealing things. Okay. Stealing things. Okay. Right? So, what do we place on the Tamarabuta here? Ala surqa tin. But remember, we've got stealing things. Surqa ti. Because this is going to be an, an idafa. It's like saying, yeah, stealing things, two nouns closely related. On stealing things. What goes on the Hamza here? Majroor. Right. Except it's not Majroor. It is. Uh, it's going to have a fata. Why? Because this pattern of the plural, Ashia'u, is mamnu'um min as -saraf. You know, as we just looked at our demo, we're going to have a separate lesson on this, inshallah. But suffice to say that this pattern of plural, ashya'u, agniya'u, uh, fuqara'u, that pattern never becomes or never takes a kasr. So when it should be majroor like it is now, it's assumed to be majroor, but with a fatha. Okay? So don't worry about that because we're going to look at it in more detail. So here, ala surqati ashya'a min dhalikal bayti. Right? That takes a kasra. Because it's um, it's al badalu, which again we're going to look in more detail. It just takes the same state as dalika. Dalika is a majururun because it's preceded by min harfu jar. But if you look at dalika, how do you know it's majururun by just looking at the word? If it was on its own, 
No, no, just as it is now. Oh, we know it's majroon because of me. Yeah, but that, that's right. We know it's a majroon, but it's assumed to be majroon. But if you look at it, you can't tell, can you? No, it's mansur. <laughs> because dhalika is always dhalika. Yeah. Wherever it is in the sentence, it's always it's exactly. always dhalika. But it's still considered to be majroor, ya ahsanu, because there's a min before it. So it's not always aliki. So why is it like that, I mean, is there any particular reason? No, no, what? Why dhalika is always dhalika? Because it's called mabniyun ala fatah. It's, it's fixed upon a fatah in that state. So it's always a dhalika. There are many like yeah, like, you, you know, Hadha, Hadihi, all of these, the Asma'ul Ishara are considered to be fixed. Right? But you don't, you, you will know this anyway. I mean, you, you, ordinarily, you wouldn't worry about Dhalika, would you? Mm. Because you read anything, oh, that means that. Mm. Yes. Right? But the reason why Al Bayti is a Majururun. Okay. Following the word uh, before, comes before, like that. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, right? W what, what has he agreed, the Khadimun, with one of his friends? What's he agreed to do? Ala surqati ashya'a, to steal things. From where? Min dhalika, from that. Remember, as, as I always give you the example, if I say to you, Hadha, and I say, Hadha al qalamu, this pen. Or I say, Hadha, you know what I'm referring to, don't you? Yes. We don't, I don't have to say to you, uh, I'm going to write with this pen. this pen. I can say, I'm going to write with this. this yeah. And you know what I'm referring to. So by adding pen at the end, which is what we're doing here, we're adding al bayti on the end. Right? Because really it would, I mean, it's pointing to the same thing as Dhalika is. Right? So, for the benefit of Ahsan, Ya Shabazz, read it from Amila and this time get that bit correct. A servant. Word for word. A servant. A servant worked in. May yeah, you could read from the top, like Allah. Yeah, this is oh, Allah. Allah is Al Ghabiyu. Al Ghabiyu, sorry. Is the thief the stupid? The stupid thief. So it's a Jumatul Faliyah, so I'm going to start from Khadim and thus. A servant worked in a house of a rich man. Rich man. What the fuck? Um, he agreed with, with a with a one with one with, one, had with one of his friends astiqa he with one of his friends on on stealing things on stealing things from that house. Nice and easy that, right? There's nothing particularly complicated there. Right? So, the next sentence is... فَبَدَأَ 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 الصَّدِيقُ صَدِيقُ يَا جِئُ فَبَدَأَ الصَّدِيقُ يَجِئُ عِنْدَمَا عندما 
يجب عندما يغيب يغيب أهل البيت Right. فبدأ. What do you always say when a fatlan begins with fa? Is it part of the word or is it separate? And here, is it? Separate. It's separate. How do we know it's separate? Is بدأ start. Good, because the fatlan, the verb, is بدأ. Yeah. And as we've done many times, بدأ means he started. How do you say I started? بدأ. I started. But that. But that How do you say you start a single male? But that. But that. How do you say you start a single female? But that. But that. How do you say she started? But that. But She started. But that. Remember, you just put a towel with the sukun. How do you say we started? Badatna. Badatna. How do you say they plural male started? Badatna. They plural. Badatna. How do you say you plural male started? Badatna. Badatna. You plural female started? Badatna. Right. Remember that. We should, uh, inshallah, now be able to say that without too much thought. Right. For better, as Right. So what goes on the qaf? Ya ahsanu for better as Is that just a guess, Ya ahsan? <laughs> it's a correct guess. But you know, we never suffice ourselves with a merely guessing, do we? Why is it a sadiqu? If that's the fi'lun, the fa'ilun is always marfu'un. Is that marfu'un? No. Yes. Yes. Ahsan, that's marfu'un with the dhamma. Right? Fabada a sadiqu. So what does that mean? Fabada a sadiqu. His friends started. So Not his. So his friends started first. No, there's no his here. Fabada oh, sadiqu. He started first. The friends started first. Yeah, there's no f s first here. It's just the friend s started. started. So the friends started. So the friends started. Yeji u. Yeji u. What does yeji u mean? I just said it when Ahsan entered Ja'a Ahsanu Ja'a Ja'a What does Ja'a mean? He came He came oh. The several words for he came in Arabic This is one of the most common uh, Occurs frequently in Al-Quran Right? وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَقْسَى الْمَدِينَةِ In Surah Yaseen جَاءَ رَجُلٌ occurs frequently That's why I said جَاءَ أَحْسَن So جَاءَ is the past he came So what's the present? يَجِئُ يَجِئُ فَبَدَى صَدِيقُ يَجِئُ so the friend started to come. That's what it means, but literally it means the friend, he started, he's coming. But we now know that that's how you express it in Arabic, right? Yeah, Ahsanu. فَبَدَى الصَّدِيقُ يَجِئُ عِنْدَمَا When. When, indama means when. Right? Inda, you're thinking of Inda, just Inda. Inda can mean with. Inda ma when yaghibu ahlul bayt. Right. 
So what type of word? I don't think we've encountered yagibu before. What type of word is yagibu? I think it's still a verb. You think it's a verb? What do you think, animal haq? It's not a verb. It's not a verb. I think it's a present tense verb. Maybe. What do you think, Ya Hassan? It's similar to the Shah's way. <laughs> but what are the indicators that it's a verb? You're right, but what are the indicators? What's the first one? The ya yeah. for the indicator. Right. Ya. Yeah. Even though some, some, well, lots of nouns can begin with ya. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it begins with ya. Yeah. But what's more important or obvious to indicate that is a verb. The ending. If that was a normal ismun, why have I written it yaribu? Okay? Right? So it is a verb in the present tense. Who's it talking about? He, she, first, second, third person? Yaribu? Third person. Third person, him. Yeah. Okay? So what does it mean, yaribu? It's not, it's not I, no? No, that's A. Oh. Aribu. Yeah. Aktabu. Ashrabu. So what's that saying? Is it, is it you? He. He. Oh, he. Right, so the past tense of this is Ghaba. You know, we, we often say so and so Ghaibun or so and so Hadirun. Hadirun means? Present. Ghaibun means? Al Ghaibu. Wa yu'minuna bil Ghaibi. Al Ghaib is the unseen. Ghaibu. Why? So what does Ghaba mean? Ghaba means he is absent. Absent. He's absent. So Yaribu means he he isn't yeah he isn't uh, he's not here. Right? He right present tense. Yeah. Ghaba means he was absent. Yaribu means he's absent like now. Right. So who if Yaribu is the fitlon, what goes on the lam and the ta of Ahl al Bayt? Ahl al Bayt. The, the owner of the house. Or the, the people of the house. Ahlul Bayti. Why is it Ahlul Bayti? Because it's an Anidafa. An and the first line in an Anidafa will be, and that's the doer. Yeah. Ahlu is the doer. Right? Ahlu is the doer, therefore, it's going to be Marfu'un. عندما يغيب أحل البيت ويسرق الأشياء مع الخادم و ويسرق الأشياء مع الخادم رايت سعندما يغيب أحل البيت when Ahlul Bayti, the, the, the people of the house, Yaghibu are absent. Wa Yasriku. Ya Ahsan, what does Yasriku mean? Steal. Steal. He, she, you, me. Yasriku. Oh. He. 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 He is stealing. He. Because Ya comes on the phone, so normally Ya comes with bodies. Third person. Third person. Yeah. Right. Yasriku, he steals. What goes on the Hamza here? Yasriku al Ashia. Eh? Ah. Ahsan thinks. Ooh. Ashia ah. Why? What we discussed previously, it never changes. No. Yeah, but. Uh, no, it does change. It can be Ashia U and it can be Ashia ah. But which one is it going to be here and why? Think. وَيَسْرِقُ He steals Right, we should have known this Ya Ahsanu It's a mafumun bihi, it's a thing he's stealing What does al ashiaa mean? Things The things وَيَسْرِقُ al ashiaa 
Why do you not worry about? You just said previously that that never changes. No, no, no. I said, I said, not not a shia'u. A shia'u can be a shia'u and it can be a shia'a. It can be both. Never changes zalika. Yeah, I said that about zalika, right? So this should be. Uh, when you're reading it, you should be now aware sufficiently to think right. Yes, that means he's stealing. So, what is he stealing? And you should automatically read it. Why yesterday call it a shia? The things. Right. By now you should be, because if he's stealing, then he must be stealing something. And what is it? It's the things. Right. Why yesterday call a shia ma? Means with. with Al Khadim. So what goes on the meme? Ma al Khadi. Me. Ma al Khadimi. Wa al Khadimi. Ma. Because of Ma. Right? And then the last bit, Thumma Yubi'uha. Thumma. Thumma Yu. You be Oha, you be Oha. What does Thumma mean? We know. Then, then what does you be Oha mean? You be Oha, you be Oha. We know it's probably talking something female related because of the Ha, and it's a present tense verb of some sort. We've done this. Yeah, no, I've always done it. It's the opposite of yeshtari. Yeah. And a cell. 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 Yeah. Right? We do a No, ba yeshtara. Remember, this is ba'a. Ba'a, he sold. So Don't forget that. We've done it before. Ba'a is he sold. This is the present tense. Right? Thumma you be uha. Then he'll send them. What who, what does the ha refer to? To the things. Right, Ahsan. You came late, but now you now you're thinking. Right? Thumma you be uha. Okay. And the last bit is wa yakhudu kullu kullun minhu nisf thaman wa yakhudu. Wa ya khudu min ma nis famen. Right. Wa ya khudu. What does ya khudu mean? أخذ يأخذ he got no we've done this أخذ يأخذ أخذ أخذ he took أخذ means he took أخذ means and he takes present tense يأخذ he takes how do we say you take single male? Single male. Yeah. No, no, it's easier than that. Remember the present tense. We, we, we know. We knew this before. Takhudu. How do you say we take? Nakhudu. How do you say she takes? Shabazz, you need to stop. Looking at that paper and remember it, you need to learn it. That paper will not always be with you. Takhudu. I take Akhudu. Yeah, we've done this before because I explained that that becomes elongated because it begins with Akhada. So when it's first person, it becomes Akhudu. So take it. Like I said, that. وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَأَخْذُوهُ فَأَخْذُوهُ وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ 
that Rasul gave, take it. Fakhuduhu, that's a command form, you plural take. Right. That much Rasul gave. Whatever the messenger gives you, take, take it. it. Right. right? Don't forget Ya'khudu. Yes. We use it all the time. Right. So Ya'khudu, Kullun, Kullun, I'll make it easy and I'll tell you that this is Kullun. Kul, what does Kullun mean? Kullun means each or every. Every. Okay? Yeah. Kullun minhuma. What from, does minhuma mean? From them. From them? Huma? From the sama, meaning this sama. Yeah, but there's a difference between saying minhum and minhuma. Dual female. Not dual female. Although the dual, huma, is an attached pronoun. Pronoun, yeah. That, that, that's, that's all it is. Yeah. That's to that. It's like saying Baytuhum, Baytuhuma, Qalamuhum, Qalamuhuma, them to. Them too. Them too. Them too, both, it can be both male and female. Yeah. Right? So what does it mean? Wayakhudu, and he takes each, each. or every, every from them too. From them too. I that's a, 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 a way of saying both of them. Both of them, yeah. Each kullun min homa, every one of the two, right? Kullun min homa. So yachodu he takes. What does nisfun mean? Nis half, half. half. a thamen. We've done a thamen. That's two. No, a thamen. We've done a thamen. Price. Right. Oh, sorry. Okay. So what's going to be on the fat here? Nis. Now think about it. Like I said, read it. Read it and tell me what's going to be on the fat and the noon. Oh, that is going to be that thing is idafa. It's going to be an idafa. Yeah. So the easy one is what goes on the noon. Nisfa thamani. So what goes on the fat? I mean, uh, Dhamma. Why Dhamma, ya Ahsanu? <laughs> ya Khudu. What does Ya Khudu mean? He took. Right. So here we've got a Jumla Tun He takes. Yeah, he takes. Who's taking? Kullun. Each. Yes. What are they taking? <laughs> what are they taking, Ya Shabazu? Every, whatever that is, so that's Marfu'un No, no, the person who's taking is Kullun every, that's why it's a Marfu'un, it's a Fa'ilun yeah. So what is it that they're taking? The Nisfun Saman Nisf Nisfah So it's got to be Nisfah It's the Marfu'un Bihi They're taking Nisfah half a Thamani of the value or the price. The value or the price of what? The thing that has Samani and the Al Ashia. Yeah, that's two. The still. Right? Yeah. So uh, So why do you look worried, Shabazz? So Minhuma refers to the two of something. Min, min means from. from, from. Huma means those two. Uh, the, from those two. The thief and the servant. It's yeah. Oh. Al lassu, um, yeah. the thief, and uh, the al khadimu. Uh, so that oh, okay. is the same. Uh, I thought, okay. I thought it was referring to the things. It's actually referring to those two people. Those two. Yeah. Right. No, it's referring to the two. Each one of these two people, yeah, the Khadim and, and the Sadiquhu. What are they taking? Nisfa half a thamani, the, the price of what? The things you be uha that they're selling. Mm. So they stood the sword and then they make half of the price each. That's it. Clear? So a sadiqo is a female uh, 
It's a female word, is it? No, a sadiqu is a male word. Why, why would you think that's female? Huma. We're referring to. Huma is a female. And male. Or is it and male? Huma refers to both male and female. Right, any questions? I don't think anything here is that really complicated. It's just again, we're repeating the same rules another time. But it's important to, to master those conjugations. So as soon as you see a word like Yaribu or Yakhudu, even if you don't necessarily know what it means, you know, okay, that's a verb, third person, male. And Yes. Right, we shall conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.